I'm Morgan here. So on today's video, I want to talk about how to carry 72 hours worth of water in your bug out bag. Now, um, a lot of people say that they don't carry water in their bug out bag. And I think it's unrealistic to say that you can carry 72 hours worth of, of water in your bug out bag because water is really heavy. And especially right now in times like the Texas summer, you know, Arizona summer, just summer in general everywhere, you know, heat waves, it's hot in the summer, okay? So you need a lot more water, especially if you decide to bug out on foot. If you're bugging out on foot, you're gonna need way more water. Every time I go out with a camelback, um, I can deplete that camelback within a two hour, three hour hike in the middle of the summer, you know, 95, 100 plus degree heat. So going through water with one person is not that hard, okay? Now, finding water is a good solution, but let me go over how to actually carry and purify water for a 72 hour period. Now keep in mind, the water purification systems and stuff should last you much longer than 72 hours. Um, you really wanna make sure that you're looking at the water purification systems and uh, seeing how many gallons it can purify. A lot of carbon filters uh, and such can purify a lot longer than it says it can, but that's just its recommended uh, purification standards. So what I have in my bag, I have a couple things. I have this Move uh, water filter bottle, and I also am gonna start carrying this Life Straw bottle with um, the, they both have water purification systems inside uh, so I can just take, you know, scoop up some water into here and go. Um, that's, I love water bottles. There's also Seychell. Um, there's going to be a, a picture over here. Um, I have that. I actually need to replace the filters, but that's a good option as well. Anything with a water purification system inside the bottle is, is great because you can just scoop up and go. I carry a water bladder in my bug out bag. Now, as long as your water bladder is clean, and you put clean, purified water inside of that uh, water bag, you'll be fine. Um, it's not gonna create mold or mildew or anything like that. Now, in saying that, I will highly suggest that you take it out every six months and just clean it, you know? You just wanna make sure that you're having the cleanest water possible in there because you are storing water in, in a container that wasn't, you know, sealed, uh, you know, it's not, it's not airtight you know, nothing like that. So when you are keeping water in your water bladder, um, take the water out every six months and clean the water bladder, let it dry completely, and then put new purified water in there and you can let it sit another six months, it's fine. I do that, I've never had a problem, it's never tasted weird. It, you know, sometimes it might be a little warm, but not sometimes, it is warm <laughs> because, you know, it hasn't been in the fridge, but who cares, warm water is still good. So there with the water bladder, I at least have some water in my bag ready to go. You could also carry water bags. They're smaller little bags of water. I'm gonna put a picture over here. I bought some a while ago and I put it through an endurance test. Literally from the height that I'm standing right now, I threw the water bag down to the ground just on a porch, just like this from this height. I'm five foot two and it exploded. And I didn't even give it that much force. You know, I'm not that strong. I mean, I'm strong. I got some muscles, but I'm not that strong. Um, and it exploded. So you just you just want to be careful uh, with the water bags. I would put it in a Ziploc or some kind of other bag like that, just for you know that extra security feature of those bags. But those little bags of water are already purified. They last a long time. Um, that's definitely an option. These having these collapsible bags are just so amazing. They, um, you can secure them nice and small and tight. They're so lightweight. They take up little space in your bag. You know, I, I put numerous of these in my bag because I can just scoop up the water and then I can go back to camp and purify it however I want with water purification tablets, um, you know, with the life straw or survivor filter or some kind of pump system or, or or just put it in my water bottle. You know, having bags like this where you can just scoop up the water and go is gonna be really convenient. You can also use a bottle like this. This is a stainless steel bottle. You can boil the water right in stainless steel bottles like this. You know, with your cook set, you can boil the water in it. Um, any sort of stainless steel um, system is gonna be good. And, um, you know, titanium is also gonna be really good. Titanium is nice and lightweight. Um, so when it comes to actually bugging out, 
Bugging out does not necessarily mean I'm gonna grab my bag, throw it on my back and walk out my door. It could mean I'm gonna grab my bag, throw it in my car um, or on my bike or however you decide to bug out and um, go from there. You know, you're not necessarily immediately throwing it on your back and walking out the door. Um, it could be that you're throwing it in your, in your vehicle. So with, if that were to take it into consideration, you can grab you know, your gallons of water, which you're already storing for emergency purposes, right? So you can grab this when you're going out the door and you can have several gallons of water, extra water in your vehicle. And that's a great way to carry water as well. Um, in the bag itself, the water bladders <clears throat> or uh, bottles of water that maybe already have water in it or as you're walking out the door, filling the bottles with water and then putting them in the bag, that could also be an option as well. It kind of depends on you know how much time you have, um, a lot of different factors. If you are sourcing water and um, purifying it on the go, just be aware that uh, you know even if you live in an area that has an abundance of water, you may not have the opportunity to just stop all the time and take the time you need to pick up water, purify it, and then be on your way. That can that can take a little while, you know. If you've ever taken the time to stop, collect water, and then purify it, or collect it, take it back to camp, and then purify it, or whatever your system is, it can take some time. Um, so just be aware of that, and um, you know. You'll, you'll, you're really gonna have to work out your routes in which there's spots in which you can potentially, you know, go unseen while you're collecting that water. It just all depends. Um, you know, you could always carry a Silcott key picture right over here. And if you're in an urban environment, you can get water from buildings. Um, the Silcott key is invaluable. I have it in my get home bag, bug out bag. I have it in all my systems because it's invaluable, especially for urban and city purposes. As far as water purification goes, water purification straws, um, water purification uh, pumping systems, and water purification tablets are all gonna be systems that you'll want to have in your bug out bag because they may all serve different purposes. And the water purification bottles, of course, with the water straw already in it. Um, so that you can have different um, resources for different situations. If you need something quick, you just gotta grab it in the bottle, swoop it up and run. Well, that would be an option. You know, the bottles are gonna be really good for that. If you need to, you know, scoop up a bunch of water in these bags, it's nice because these can just clip on the outside or something. Um, you need to scoop up the water and then put some water purification tablets in it. That's a good option too. It's just nice to have these options. And this is all just stuff to consider. Think about how are you going to get water? And remember, even in winter, fall and spring, you're still going to need water because you still need to cook you need it for hygiene, you need it for cleaning, and of course, you need it for drinking. Water pretty much runs our lives. Water is life. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has given you some ideas. Um, you know, there's always ways to work water into your system. Um, and if it adds that extra weight, well then it adds that extra weight. To me, water is so important, especially living in a droughty area. So I always go overboard with um, water and water purification and stuff like that. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you really like my videos, come and visit me on my website down below at roguepreparedness.com. I have a whole bunch of free stuff on that website, plus a whole bunch of great information. And come visit me on my social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, all down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.